Hello, Joe Neville here, back with another Python and REST API video. So in video two in this series, we did a get of data from an Aruba OS switch. And the objective in this video is to post data to the switch. Essentially, what we're going to do is we are going to configure a VLAN and the VLAN name on the switch using Python. And the important thing here is that we're not going to be using CLI commands to do this. We're not pumping CLI commands into Python. We're actually going to be using the device's REST API to do this. And you may be asking, why would we want to do this? Well, I did cover this in my last video. So programmatic approach to network management, blah, blah, blah. Essentially, it's pretty cool and you get to learn some new things. Please see my last video for a more serious explanation. The kit is as before. So it's an Aruba 2930F and I've got my Python work environment. Here it is, the same as from video two. And this is how we're going to do it. So you probably won't be surprised to hear that to actually configure the switch, there is some extra steps in lieu of security. So what we need to do first of all is we need to log into the switch via the REST API. What we do is we send a post to a login sessions URL. The response, if our login is successful, will come back with a cookie. Then we combine that cookie with the configuration. So with the VLAN number and name that we want to configure and we post this to the switch. To illustrate that process, I've drawn some diagrams here. So from our Python work environment, we post the username and password to the switch. We get back, if successful, we get a response which contains a cookie. We combine that cookie with the VLAN details and post that to the switch. OK, without further ado, let's get into the demo then. Here is my Fedora 25 environment. And we are going to follow the same process as the last video in that we are going to use Postman first to illustrate this. And then we're going to put the details into Python. And I'm going to show you my short Python script that I've put together. Step one, let's log into the switch so you can see the configuration. Pretty simple, same as the last video. So I've got three VLANs on there, VLAN 1, 3, and 4. So we're going to add some extra VLANs to this device. Okay, so let's jump over to Postman. First step, as I mentioned, is that we need to post our login credentials to a specific login URL. So I've already put that into my Postman here. So 192.168.1.29, remember, is the management IP address of the switch. Then we've got rest forward slash v1, nothing new there. Now this is new login sessions, okay? And we need to, so we're doing a post here, remember, rather than a get like we did last time. So we're posting this information. So what information are we posting? OK, in the body, we need to put in, make sure this is checked as raw, we put in our credentials. So this is in the format of key value pairs, like a Python dictionary that we saw previously. So what we've got here is a username, so my username Joe, and a password, which is X, just in a home lab. So complete disregard for any kind of security. Obviously, don't do this on your production networks. OK, so we send that off. So hit that button there, send. And here's the response down here. And you can see that we've got a cookie. So the login was successful. And in the response, we have this cookie here, this session ID. So I need to grab that. And that changes for the different logins that you have. So we grab the session ID. Now we need to do the next stage, which is to combine the cookie with the VLAN information that we want to send to the device. This again is a post. So in the new tab, and we're going back to the VLANs. 
And what we do, we need to combine the cookie with the information that we want to send so we go to headers and it's the key and the value so you can see it here key and value in there we put cookie then we paste the value that we received from before so this is the session ID so that's our cookie and the value for our cookie and in the body we need to put in the text for the VLAN I'm going to configure, we've got VLAN 3 and 4, so I'm going to configure VLAN 5. So that's a key value pair there for the VLAN ID and the VLAN number, which is going to be 5. And now I want to configure the name. Let's call that. Postman VLAN, okay, so let's close that. Now if all's good, we just send, hit the send button and that will configure our device. Okay, loading, right, and here's our response here. So we have this response with our VLAN ID 5 and the name postman vlan so let's go and look at the configuration on the box okay there we are so we've managed to configure the device by combining the cookie with the information and you may be thinking well how did i know that it was in that format this is all part of the rest api schema for the device again i covered that in the last video so that's all very well to just use Postman for this, but let's take that a step further and actually use Python to do the same thing. Let's open up PyCharm. Okay, so I've written a couple of short Python programs here, which is essentially emulating what we've done in Postman. This is to grab the cookie. Okay, so this is the first section. First of all, import request. Remember, that's the HTTP library for Python that we are using. Here's the URL, so that's that login sessions URL. So we create a Python object for that. Here's the payload. So this is essentially the body that we put in Postman. So this is the raw text that we need to send. So that's as a string. So the username, Joe, password of X. And here is the full data unit for the request library that we want to send. So what I've done is I've created an object of response and this is what we're going to be sending via request. So it's a post, then we're combining the URL here with the payload. And what I've done then is I've added these two print commands so you can see what comes back. So we'll see at that stage the cookie coming back to us. So I've opened up a terminal again, do an ls, you can see the get cookie file in there remember this is in python 3 and let's run that okay and here's the output so this is the text that comes back plus the headers that are received back so you that's some extra information and i'll stretch that out so you can see it okay good so there's the cookie there's our session ID okay so that's the information that we need and it's come back and its application it's JSON that's comes back remember curly brackets so this is essentially like a Python dictionary because it's a key value pair that we've got so if you think about that the cookie in the response text is the key and the session ID, that's the value. So that's the information. So if we call the cookie from this object, we will grab the session ID. Okay, I've taken that a step further then. So I've combined grabbing the cookie with the actual configuration. And that's the next step. So let's go back to PyCharm. 
So here, get cookie, create VLAN. Right, so this is a bit more involved, and I'll just step you through this. Essentially, the process is exactly what I've shown you already. We post the authentication information, the username and the password, to the switch. We grab the cookie, but in the same process, we then fire the cookie back with the VLAN number and name to configure the device. So this is what we're doing in this short script here. Okay, so first of all, I import the HTTP library request at the top, and I've done this so that it's reusable for different VLAN numbers and names. So what we have with Python 3, you can just have this input here, and that means it will ask this text, and then it will create an object from what you enter. Thus, when we run this program, it will ask us to enter a VLAN number, and then it will create a VLAN underscore number from that input. And then it will ask for the VLAN name and create this object here from the VLAN name. There's no error checking or anything like that in this simple example. I'm just doing this for illustrative purposes. Okay, then we've got two URLs that we need. So this is the URL for the first section. Remember, this is for the login sessions, and I've called that URL underscore login. And then we have the one, the URL which is used for configuring the VLANs. So I've taken the opportunity to put those both in there together. Okay. Next, we have the payload for. So this is our authentication information this is the username and the password and i've called that payload login okay next line we have the information that we need to pass to request so this is the post of the information going to the url login so the login sessions and the data that we're going to send is the payload login here so this is our username and password and from that, I've created an object. So grabbing the response, because remember that requests handles not just the sending, but also the response. So we can query request to grab further information. So from that, I want to create an object, which I've called get cookie. And that will be the response, which I've already shown you, which will include the key of cookie and the value. So as I mentioned before, it's the value of cookie that we're after which will be the session id what i've done there is i've created a a print there so you can see what's actually happening with that so essentially this this line here this creates this object this r cookie and that's the cookie that we need so that's what's coming back from the switch once we've got that we can continue on and actually do our configuration so we need to create the information that we want to send the to the device for the configuration i've called that payload underscore vlan and you can see here that this is a dictionary as well it's a key value pair and you've got the string there of vlan underscore id and the value is vlan number so remember that's what we've entered up the top here so when we we are asked at the beginning for the to enter the VLAN number, that object is created and that's placed down into this payload underscore VLAN. Also the name there, so that's just a string of the the name. And we've got the VLAN name there, so that's created at this point. Okay. So that essentially just creates a string for the payload underscore VLAN. What I've done is I've printed that out at that stage so you can see what's going on there. Next up, we've created an object which I've just called headers here, which is where we take the cookie from here that we've received back and we put that into a key value pair of cookie. And then this com is combined for what we're going to pass to request as another post. So we've got our URL VLANs. So that's from up here. That's our REST V1 VLANs. We've got our data, which is our payload VLAN. So that's this here. So that's what we're in Postman. We put in as raw in the body to send. And then we've got the headers, which is the cookie.
which we've received. So we send off the information, we receive the cookie back, we combine that with the information that we've entered up here, and then we send that off to requests as a post, and it will create this configure VLAN object, which I've then printed out, which will be the actual response back from the device. So hopefully, if all that's working, then we'll be able to configure a VLAN on a switch using Python. Okay, so just to show you, remember that this is the configuration of the device at the moment. So VLAN 1, 3, 4, and 5. is get cookie and create VLAN in one go. I will run that. And so this is where we do our input. So what I will call it is VLAN number, we'll create six, the VLAN name, and we'll call it UR number six. Okay, so we fire that off fingers crossed okay so remember that I did use some print statements here so you could see what's going on to make it a bit easier so the first print statement is the cookie that was coming back so that's that that's that session ID there also I did a print of the payload that we were sending so remember that's the key and the value VLAN ID and six then the key and the value which you can see comes from what I've inputted and finally the response which is two, 201 so that's uh, created so that's good now let's have a look at the device great there we are so VLAN 6 name you are number 6 underscore VLAN created on the device via Python and no CLI commands were harmed in this demonstration. Okay, objective complete. That was using Python to configure an Aruba OS switch. As you can see, the process does get a little bit more complex as you move from the basic gets to the posts, and some basic Python knowledge is invaluable here. I'll post my scripts and any more that I create on GitHub and put a link in the description so feel free to grab them and play around with them yourself. This was just my first run at them so they're pretty raw at the moment and I'm planning to polish them up and create some more scripts in the future. But that's all for this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. My name's Joe Neville and goodbye.